Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a huge, huge look at all of the updates that has to do with Blender that has happened throughout the week and we're going to catch up with a lot of things. Believe me guys, there's a whole lot of things that you really want to know, so just simply stick around for the video. First off, we're going to start off with Blender developers meeting that happened and there was a bug sprint that we've already been talking about for the past two weeks and this is coming to an end as we're seeing there's a whole lot of things happening right there. And for the bug sprint, you can actually see that there's been a huge work that has been done for this blender 2.83 itself was supposed to be you know first previewed on may the 27th and there is a pre-release so in case you want to see that you want to get the copy you can see the pre-release you can download that you can simply you know play with it and i think for the most part it is getting to that stability point point. and with that said there is also eight tag box that is of high priority that they are currently looking at now pablo vasquez himself not the pablo the barrel the modeling guy pablo vasquez you know the face of blender has actually gone ahead to remind developers to fill in for their release note for some features that are missing and examples and also links to commit and this includes like cycles and so on and so forth the user interface for this you know there's also a huge update for that and actually if you go over to the blender page right now and you try to check out for the release you would notice the blender 2.83 release notes there's a whole lot of updates that's beginning to happen to this actually if you go over to any of them let's take sculpting for example you would notice that right now they've started filling up all of these things and it is really really interesting to see blender 2.83 is beginning to get finalized at the end of the day so there is also a couple of things that was talked about 2.9 and this was like suggested wrapping for the 2.8 project and moving forward with the design as this week is more of a roundup week for you know preparing for 2.83 to be launched the google summer of code has actually started and the regression testing framework itself has also commenced but this project itself would not get into works until sometime next week we're also seeing that the quick hacks has now been renamed to good first issue Issues. so anytime you're looking for things called quick hacks right now you would actually find them under good first issues new changes there is no major new change there is no major stuff but I gotta tell you guys I got news for you guys to actually stick in and have for the weekend so one of the very interesting ones we're going to talk about all of the updates that you need to see in blender 2.9 later but we're going to start with do it so in case you don't know the do it or the do IK this is an awesome plugin that a lot of people have used for after effect now the after effect side of things is you can simply use this to rig characters rig different parts of your characters bring them together and you can use this to create animation so if you're into cutout animation or you're into you know animation where you have to link different body parts together you can simply use do directly in after effect but this is not the news because the news right here is do is now coming to blender and this is very interesting because do for blender is coming and on the 3rd of may is when they actually started out the whole crowdfunding thing and it's just very interesting to see this here a huge shout out to chooks for bringing this over to my notice so if you're into doing 2d cutout animation you can now do all of these things directly in blender so all of that time you have to go over to after effects and do those things you know you might want to cut out adobe right now because of this then you can simply do your 2d and your 2.5d cutout rigging animation right directly here in blender and this is very good news now speaking about things you can now do with blender tangent lab is also some very cool guys that we've always loved so sometime within the week tangent lab released a tweet that says that lupe will be fully integrated into blender and this is definitely empowering every not even one every blender user to create amazing stories so you know how we all work with shotgun so in case you have no idea what shotgun is it is more like a management tool which you can use to do some sort of team management so if you're working you can actually drop a file online and someone can pick it from that local server or from you know your your server address and start working on that the lighting guys get to be doing the lighting stuff the animation guys get to be doing stuff and everything gets to be integrated so now we have this for blender so it doesn't matter whether you are you know a big studio small studio your two-man team three-man team you can easily do your project management asset management you can review you can do your render management everything right here in blender using this tool which right now i don't really know if it's going to be set for free but lupe is here and the fact that they have actually gone ahead to integrate this fully with blender is just mind blowing all right it's just mind blowing so these two stuff are like the very amazing updates that you can get from third parties that is coming actually they're not all the updates there is also updates about some other tools that we've talked about on the channel so i'm just going to put a link in the description so you can see that and tomorrow we have another amazing tool that you guys would definitely want to see it's an add-on for blender 
agenda so simply keep an eye open for that all right so with this said it's time to talk about some of the cool things that you would now see in blender 2.9 actually if i open this you can see this is blender 2.83 nothing looks new but then if i simply go ahead and minimize this you would notice that we have something new i don't know if you can tell the difference right here so this is what we had and this is what we have i mean right now you can start noticing that new object feature that they talked about that was supposed to be coming to blender and i don't know i just feel very excited about this one i'll show you what it does so if you simply all right if you simply click this you are definitely going to be able to create awesome cubes all right so instead of holding down shift and a to do all of these things right now you have this new objects and quick objects you know and you can easily start working with this so the first things which i would like to do is once you click this you now have that 3d studio max style of creating objects so i can just click and define this stuff and i can raise this up you remember last time when we talked about the updates coming over to blender and some of the tools which i think that they kind of kept behind the scene we talked about blueprint and this looks like something that is kind of close to what blueprint you was supposed to do but it's really cool to see that you have this new object thing here so if you do that you now have your options which you can simply use to do a lot of things so you can scale you can do all of that stuff but then you can notice that there's a tiny node down here so once you click this tiny node you can go through and select any of the objects that you want you see this is pretty cool i don't know i don't know how you're going to see it but I, I kind of think that this is really really insane i mean it's really cool so i can go over and select the cylinder and then with that cylinder i can define the size and of course i can go all the way up also you would notice that we have all of this stuff this doesn't work here i mean once you already define the object this doesn't work here and i like the idea that they're trying to do this this is in one way trying to make all of those features that you find in you know regular apps like 3d studio max cinema 4d maya houdini and so on you know it's pretty easy to see that instead of you know going all the way like tack 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 and click those things on the toolbars you just have one thing that locks everything together and you can easily you know navigate through so if i simply select this and delete that i can select the object before i commit to making this object i can define everything which i want so if i want this to become triangulated fan okay that would be fine if i want this to be nothing i can set that to it if i want this to be just 12 sides i can set that to it i can simply make all of my you know decisions before i commit to creating this it's going to save you so much time with how much you know you get to play with the parameters and at the same time you're going to have a whole lot of liberty while trying to work with this thing so with this said there is also another cool feature that you probably wouldn't see so let me, let me just go ahead and make a, a new object right now and raise this up okay so this new stuff is uh, something that you probably wouldn't see if you go ahead and download blender 2.9 right now but it's actually something that has been teased and to me i think this is going to change the way you work with clothes in blender now the reason is pablo has actually teased something crazy this is just like it's actually a miracle it's it's, it's a wonderment i don't know once you go ahead in blender and choose to mask a certain part of your object right now you can easily use instead of using the mesh tool instead of using you know the, the whole mesh filter tool to you know make things bigger and smaller you can now mask several points and you can inflate an object you can cause gravity to happen to that object and at the same time i think you can also proceed to shrink it so there's actually three options right there which you can play with so this is huge and it's going to be crazy he said that feature is coming over to blender and i think it's also one of the features that i've actually hoped to see come over to blender for a while now and with this here it is pretty cool to see that if this feature ships over to blender 2.9 it is going to be revolutionary already the cloak brush is doing so many things and i've seen a whole lot of use case with this and it's going to be crazy for you to do your simulation directly in your sculpting you know section and that will cut down on how much time you need the physics and this for me is going to be a game changer for a lot of people as this would make your life even way easier and sometime last week while we we're talking about some of the improvements of course we talked about the multi-res and you know we talked about some of those cool stuff and also with all of these updates there is still an update to the clothing stuff so right now Pablo is also teasing that you can now do some sort of soft selection or soft clothes sculpting directly here in blender and this in itself is definitely going to be another huge 
you know game changer and of course i would like to know what you guys think about this down in the comment section link to everything that we've actually talked about i'm going to put them in the description so you can go ahead and check them out so this is the wrap up of most of the things and you know features and updates that has actually come over to blender over the week and if you've seen any of them and maybe i kind of skipped them please put them in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace